Hi, I'm David with QuirkLogic's Customer Success Team. Today I'm going to show you what comes in the box with your paper, and then also how to set it up when you first receive it. When we open the paper box itself, you're going to find a little insert here that gives you some information on your paper. If you scan right here, you'll actually get access to this quick start video. There's also the address for our resources page, as well as our user guide. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email us at success at quirklogic.com. In the box, you'll find your paper. You'll also find your stylus, as well as some replacement nibs for your stylus and a puller tool. And you'll have your charge cable. The first time you turn on your paper device, it might have some charge or it might be completely dead, depending on how long it took to ship to you. We recommend that you allow your paper to drain all the way down below 10% before charging it fully for the first time. This will help you with your battery life long term. Now that we've set our devices to charge, we can go to quirklogic.com to sign up for an account. The best way to do it is to go over to shop and go to software. You'll see the digital ink collaboration license. That's how you sign up for an account. Select the pro model. As of today, it is actually free, so it makes sense. When you say buy now, it'll ask you to fill out this form right here. Very simple, first name, last name, the name you'd like displayed in Inkworks, your email address, and your password. Double check your email address because once you hit sign up, you're gonna get a confirmation emailed to you. It often ends up in junk mail, so please check there. Uh, once you've uh, confirmed your account, you're ready to go. The first thing we'll do to get started with your device is connect it to Wi-Fi. In order to do this, we will hit the three dots in the top right hand corner. We'll go to settings, we'll go to networks, and then we'll go to Wi-Fi. Once selected, you'll put your password in and hit accept, and it will automatically connect into your Wi-Fi. To exit out, we'll just hit the X's in the corner. The next thing we'll want to do is name your paper. Once again, we'll hit those three dots and we'll go to settings. You'll see that this one's already been named paper, but you can change the name and call it, I'm gonna call this one David's paper. And then we'll hit save. Once you've read through your end user license agreement, you can click accept and the next workbook that'll open will be the welcome workbook. It's the only one that's on your paper at the moment. This will show you how to write with a pen, how to erase, how to charge your pen, and how to do some of the basic features and gestures that are required to move around through your paper. When you're ready to move to the next page, you'll just swipe up from the bottom right corner. To move to the previous page, you'll swipe down from the top left corner. We're going to go ahead and click Sign In. You'll get a QR code, which will allow you to sign in using the QuirkLogic mobile app, or you'll also be able to sign in manually. To sign in manually, just enter your email address. And enter your password. You can click Remember Me so that it always knows you when you log in. Now that you've entered your account, you'll actually be able to get access to your local and cloud libraries. I'll show you how that looks. Your library will display your local, which will just be the welcome, and then your mine. Obviously, I do have some workbooks in my cloud account, uh, QL videos, and some samples of some different information. To create a new workbook, you'll use the plus arrow on this right-hand side here. Create a workbook and give it a name. I'm going to call this one new. If you'd like to create a new folder, we'll click the folder icon 
and we'll give that a name as well. I'm going to call this new folder. So you can see our new folder is the new folder that we have on the left, and we've got a new workbook which is called new. Part of getting familiar with your paper is getting used to the menus. If you click on the three dots in the upper right hand corner, you'll find that you have access to your library, the ability to hide the toolbar, to create a new workbook, to save a copy of your workbook, to insert a PNG PDF or JPEG into your device, or also to export a PDF, PNG, or JPEG. You can also do split screen on your paper, and you can access your settings. If you need help, you can hit the info button. From the center oval menu, you can access the ability to return back to your workbook, to create a new workbook, you can quick access your settings, you can check for your updates, you can access your cloud library and your local library, and you also have access to use Chrome. Here at QuirkLogic, we do frequent updates with our software. To check for a software update, you'll hit the center oval button, and then you'll click Check Update. Your paper will let you know whether the software is up to date or if there's an update ready to download. All you have to do is follow along with the actions on screen. Thank you for your purchase of paper. If you have any questions on anything that we've covered here today, or if you have any questions that weren't covered, please don't hesitate to email us at success at quirklogic.com.